Hey Team Moonlight, Alex with your monthly readings and this video is for Aquarius, Sun in, in Western Astrology, Moon and Rising Sign in Eastern Vedic Astrology. So before I start the usual reminder, it is not a personal reading, it's a general reading. So it may resonate with you, it may not resonate with you. It will not resonate 100% with all of you, with all the Aquariuses in the world. So take what resonates and leave the rest to other people. If this video doesn't resonate, check out your other signs. We all have at least three prominent signs in our chart. This is sun, moon and rising sign. And usually we have at least one more sign uh, which has a strong signature in our chart as well. So I'm starting with the general energy for November 2019. I pre-shuffled my decks already. I'm using my oracle deck this time. and. We will see what's waiting for Aquarius, November 2019 now. Milk and Honey, it's one of the most positive cards here. It, 5 plus 1 is 6, it's, it's the Venus energy, it's about love. And for me, it's a card of um, either you following your path or you meeting your soulmate because it's like um, a card of compatibility. You are compatible with someone or something like milk and honey and whatever you create together is pure magic and bliss. So let's see more. I will be shuffling my cards now. So if it's triggering you or irritating you, just fast forward or skip it. Okay, it will only take a minute. Let's see your energy in the beginning of the month. That glorious. What will be changing for you in November? What will be a challenge in November? What's your energy in the end of November facing December? Your money and career. your love life come on come on come out come out one more okay four cars they wanted to come out let's start at the beginning mm-hmm this is interesting. It's like the universe is jolting you, taking you out, like waking you up from your hermit state. You're receiving some kind of wake up call. Maybe you've been withdrawn from the world. Some of you I'm getting, it's like you've been thinking about some plan, idea. But you've been seeking solitude and universe is kind of taking you out of it like uh, suddenly. Maybe you've been dreaming about something. This is some kind of idea you've been thinking about. Mm. But I'm getting that universe demands action. Yeah. There's definitely some movement forward going on for you. And we have, by the way, all four major arcanas. Well, this here is intense and readings every time are intense. But you've been trying to get away from something or someone, I'm getting. You've been trying to get away from it or you've been thinking that it's maybe just your dream. You will think about it, you will see it at home and dream about it a little bit more, then a little bit more. And universe demands action. Action that can lead you, can really take you with this chariot, can really take you to your happiness. To, to your milk and honey, the jar full of milk and honey, this cup full of milk and honey. You want that? Have to stand up and go. Let's see what will be changing for you. It's 50-50 because it's a group reading. For some of you, it's a person, for others, it's an idea or a dream. 
an opportunity. And it's coming into your life suddenly, a person or this opportunity just, I don't know, burst opening the door and demanding to be celebrated, demanding, like seriously, I'm getting very strong energy. Maybe you didn't think it is possible and suddenly the opportunity presents itself. It's something new, it's something unexpected, it's something big, it's like a new life ahead and uh, it's something that's going to fulfill you, bring, yeah, it's just your happiness and by the way, it's, it's interesting, but it's not you making it happen, it's coming into your life, it's bursting, it's like a kind of imposing itself onto you. Like forcing, your know, happiness is forcing itself onto you, you know? This is a rare picture. Do you agree? So it's a rare of you when happiness just enters your life and like, I'm here, but you just have to stand up. Like stand up for yourself. Just take me, I'm, I'm yours. That's it. This is interesting. <laughs> really interesting. And uh, your challenge, your challenge will be to let go of your past experience. With this nine of wands, it's like I'm really drawn to his posture. Look at him. Look at the way he stands. Look like he's um, not trusting. He's hiding something from others. He's being, again, seeking solitude, being not open. It's kind of your experience taught you not to live your life to the fullest. This is what I'm getting, and it's time to change it. It's changing. It, and I'm getting it's changing whether you want it or not. But it will be a challenge for you to kind of go with it. To kind of go with this flow. Go with this transformation. Not to fight it. Not to try to crawl away from it. Not to try to let go of it. You're cutting away your devil. Because seeking solitude became your habit. The habit that was not leaving you. Not letting you live your life to the fullest again. I know I'm repeating myself. But it's important. Uh, it's strong. Now look at this devil. He's kind of laughing at you. Do you want to let him laugh at you further? But you're showing him this huge sword. Like, look who's going to laugh now. Kind of cocky. But you're going from hermit mode to the cocky mode to this wielding this sword and wielding it with confidence. It won't be easy, but you will do it. Because you kind of waited for this moment. You waited for it. You never thought it possible. For some of you, it will be... Okay, yeah. It's about cooperating with other people. It's about being open. It's about being a team player. It's about trusting somebody. Again, trusting somebody enough to be able to create something. Maybe about a relationship. Maybe about this project, idea, art project. Whatever it is for you. Business idea. It's some opportunity. Let's call it an opportunity. Opportunity that is demanding some trust to others and being a part of a team. And uh, But you're used to being alone. You're used to um, trust only yourself. But you don't even trust yourself. This is what I'm getting. You learned not to trust anybody, even yourself, yourself included. It's time to change. Again, it's changing. Whether you're ready or not, it's changing. Let's see more. Let's see why we have four cards here for your love. Justice, Four of Swords, Eight of Cups, and the Fool. For most of you, some, some opportunity for a relationship presents itself. And really, they like, come bursting into your life. And it's faded. No, no way you can run away from it. Nope. Even if you close all doors, even if you close all windows, even you shut your eyes and put, I don't know, your fingers into your ears, just even if you try to shut down the world completely, there is no running away from it, no escaping it. Like next time you go to the shop, next time you go out, I know. The opportunity is there waiting for you and it's healing, it's healing. Um, and But for you mostly, it's, it will kind of push you, it will kind of make you leave this stagnant energy behind because you've been stagnating, you've been stagnating. 
and it's like you've been wallowing in this stagnant energy in this hermit mode hermit mode is kind of useful when you're thinking about something uh, but not when you're stuck in it and you were stuck you are stuck this opportunity is yet to present itself so get ready to be unstuck seven of swords two of pentacles oh, it's kind of you're holding on you're holding on to those fears you're holding on you will be holding on you will have, but somebody, you know, it's just, it's not somebody. Universe is really determined to take you out of your shell. You are leaving your shell. You are being presented with the happiness, with the true one. Stop hesitating. Stop doubting. Stop being so mis... So, how, how to say it? How to put it in words? Hmm... Okay, let's leave it at distrustful. Because something real is about to enter your life. Something real, really real. Okay, losing my words. Time to move forward to your money and career. Yeah, for some of you, it's an opportunity. This person can be your partner in life and in crime and in business and in everything sharing your ideas pushing you toward happiness and toward for some of you even toward being famous toward being um, uh, how to say acclaimed becoming someone acclaimed becoming someone um, well, no, so somebody else will be praising your work, praising your uh, idea, praising whatever you are doing. And this person kind of entering your life or this idea entering your life is changing everything. Because with the devil, two times, you were stuck. You were stagnating. You were not going forward, not going backwards, not going anywhere. Some of you for years, eyes. For whom it's relevant, for whom this message resonates. Time to man up. Time to stand up for yourself with this strength card. Really, leave behind. Leave behind this devil energy. Leave it behind. Leave behind being stuck in the past. Leave behind being stagnant. Leave behind everything that's stopping you from going forward. Man up. Do it for yourself, not for somebody else, for yourself. Again, major changes again. Well, Aquarius, let's see what your energy will be like in the end of November facing December. You are changing. You are being inspired. You are inspiring others. We have the Ace of Wands. You are being full of passion. You are seeing things in a new light with the hangman. You are letting go of these past issues. Letting go. And see like being enlightened in every aspect it's like your body's waking up your mind's waking up your soul's waking up you're waking up completely from your dreams from beyond not not yeah it's the end you're going from ten of swords Feeling lonely, feeling abandoned, feeling ended with, feeling like you do not exist to enjoying things, having a happy home, having a warm, happy life. And you know what? You're super lucky because somebody, somebody is triggering this change into you. Somebody's coming, taking you from there, pushing you, you know, pushing you towards your happiness. And we, it's not that often when these situations are met. It's not that often when somebody is ready to fight for you. So be ready for somebody's coming to fight for you, fight for your happiness with you. One more card for your energy in the end of November, facing December. Five of Cups. Don't 
it's yeah it's like five of cups is being mended this this energy i feel like with the ten of swords and five of cups for a long time you felt like you you were done you were done living our life was done with you like like you you didn't live you didn't exist you were existing barely and whatever is happening it's mending your life completely so somebody's coming and fighting for you with you so let them because they're trying to take you to your happiness whoa well guys happiness demands action it does thanks for watching and i wish you an awesome november best of luck your happiness is out there bye